Oh, here we go. This is the wand for the intro. Erecto Patronum. <laughs> so, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to a new Adam and Eve haul and oh my god Adam and Eve has spoiled us today So let's go ahead and get right into this because we have so much to unpack and I have so many epic and Magical little things that you can add here to your sexual repertoire By the way, you can get 50% off almost any one item and free shipping in the US and Canada by using the code Tara at adamandeve.com. I fucking love Adam and Eve I'm so glad that they're back sponsoring a video. It's been a while So show this video some love and let them know that you want more because I want more sex toys to try. First thing I want to show off is this little Slytherin but off-brand Harry Potter little lingerie piece for role-playing. I think this is so sexy. It actually comes with a necktie too, but I just spray tanned and I didn't want to ruin my spray tan, honestly. So I decided to throw on these sold separately Harry Potter glasses and just call it a day. This is such a sexy item though, and I actually feel like I'll wear this top outside of the bedroom because it's so cute. It's got the little green accents on the bottom. It's got a cool back. It doesn't quite fit my boobs, but I did get the small medium to fit the rest of my body. So so it can't really be expected that it fits my boobs, right? If you like either schoolgirls or magic and Harry Potter, this is like a great way to spice up things in the bedroom. Just a slight role play. As you guys probably know, I'm not a big role play person myself. I think it kind of takes the realness out of sex, but if you can add in just like a little bit here and there, or just kind of an outfit to spice it up, like me and my partner love that. So always a good time. And thank you Adam and Eve for sending it to me because I know you guys are enjoying it as well. Like the video if you appreciate Adam and Eve always sending me a piece of their lingerie so that you get a visual that's nicer for the video because we all know branding is key By the way, all the products that I talk about in this video will be listed down below in order of appearance Just to make it extra easy for you to find exactly what you want next item This is our next item. We have quite a bit of bondage today because I asked for it I want to shoot some certain things for the only fans So if you want to see more you can go there link well copyable username in the description But we have this nice silicone heart ball gag I actually like different kinds of gags and my subscribers on OF like it too So I decided to get a few more and this one is fucking sexy I like that it has the air hole that's shaped like a heart and the whole thing is shaped like a heart So you're kind of just biting down on a heart I like gags that allow you to show your teeth I think it's a little bit sexier because I can do like mouth and teeth pictures not for the gram But for other places because apparently Instagram doesn't like things in your mouth or you licking things But anyway super high quality even down to the packaging. It's called sex and mischief a more ball gag so if you like that kind of thing ball gags are both aesthetic and BDSM-y bondage -y. go ahead and check that out the next bondage thing we have is this paddle I like this paddle because it feels more like a beginner paddle and it's also shaped like a heart So it's pretty aesthetic things with functionality always get me This one is really cool because it's like fuzzy on this side so fuzzy and velvety and then on the back It's velvet too Still gonna give you a nice little paddle, but I feel more like this is a beginner piece because it doesn't have the like raw like leather or something or PVC or whatever else is gonna almost said PCP. Definitely none of these are laced with PCP. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but I would assume it's a bad business model. <laughs> Very simple. This is also from Sex and Mischief. It's called the Enchanted Heart Paddle. And honestly, it's just so fuzzy. I like it. It's so fuzzy. Look at this. Fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. I definitely love the fuzzy and the aesthetic appeal and I like the fact that it has a little extra velvetiness to the back for padding because honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret, but one of the things that I don't like as much is pain on my butt cheeks. So I'm not a big spanking girl. It's a little sad, I know. Astro, do not disturb. I won't disturb you. Good, good. Anyway, next item. Our next item is another sex and mischief piece. This one is probably gonna be a little bit more painful. It's a crop, it's called the Amour Crop. So I would assume that it goes along with the Amour ball gag. I like it a lot. It's got kind of like a rougher leather feel. I don't know if it's genuine leather, let's see. It's faux leather and it is really supple. It says on the back that it's supple and it's, I just like this a lot. I like it a lot because it's very pretty. But then this is actually gonna hurt more because you got the crop and you got the, the tails, you know. I don't know which one's the actual crop. But this is gonna consolidate the pain right where you want it. So this is a little bit more of an intermediate. I mean, if you're into bondage, you're gonna see this as a beginner thing. You're gonna see this as a standard thing. But for me, I'm not a big fan of the pain on the booty crack. So I'd rather have this slapped across my cheek, honestly, or something. That's more up my alley than anything on the butt. But you know, I do wilder things 
for my OF subs because I love you guys. I will be using all of these hurting myself over there. <laughs> On the back it says it's great for all experience levels and it's just a cute piece to have around the house. I feel like a lot of the sex toys that I get from Adam and Eve are just so aesthetic that you can kind of display them. Cute, right? Next. We have two different butt plugs, okay? So like I really wish this one came before St. Patrick's Day because I totally would have done a set with this, but you know, lucky clovers are always great any time of the year, right? And then this one, which I'm really excited about, it's a whole ass rose coming out of your butthole, okay? These are both the small size, but they come in medium and large as well, which is really cool. I asked for the small because Another thing I'm not really cool about is the anal. I'm just not a huge anal girl, unless there's like domination and degradation in there with it, and then I can get along with it. And I need a lot of prep, but I do, once again, sacrifice myself for the OF. So I wanted these and I thought they were gorgeous. Let's go ahead and actually take these out of the packaging. I'm gonna take everything else out of the packaging. It's just that with the crops and everything, they're, they're like zip tied in there. And I don't think I have real scissors here, to be honest. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's glass. Oh my God, this is so fucking pretty. Look at this. Look at this thing. I want this in my butthole immediately, honestly. Like, and it is, re it's really small. This is a really small butt plug. Honestly, I don't even do anal that often. I don't know if I can keep this in there. This is the smallest butt plug I have by far, for sure. I've stuck many, many larger, much larger things in there. It, this is so pretty. I would just display this. I would find a way to kind of just set it like this on a table and have it suspend and just, oh, it's so pretty. I'm excited to have a little rose coming out of my butthole, honestly. So excited for this one. And the shamrock one. The shamrock one is a little more petite, but the base part that actually goes inside you is a little bit bigger. Very pretty, but still small enough for a beginner for sure. I like it, I like the small butt plugs. I think what I've been using is medium then, because these are a lot smaller than the ones that I have used before. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of living for it because I could go down a size for sure. I like a little bit of stretch, but I'm not a big fan of just the feeling of like really stretching it out. You know, I just like to have something in there while also being penetrated in the vagina. I feel like that's the best thing ever. So if you guys haven't tried that, definitely try it. And you can start with something that is so small, it's actually kind of shocking. I'll have to do some kind of green themed thing and you know, maybe I'll save it for good old St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Our next and last bondage item on the list today is this one, another rose themed item. This is a ball gag with a rose on the front. It's really pretty. It has a lot of kind of like lace detailing on it. I'm just gonna pull it out and show it to you because this is bondage luxury right here. Let, let, me, let me get this out for you. Ooh, I didn't even realize, but the lace is actually, it's like shiny. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. We got the faux rose. There's a little ball on the back of it that actually goes in your mouth. So it's like a regular size ball gag, but then it has this beautiful shimmery lace detail. And the inside here is actually soft. It's like fuzzy. I am, I'm in love with this. I'm actually in love with this. And it has the air holes. It's got air holes, guys. Oh. Amazing. I love this thing. Highly recommend already. Okay, the rose is really velvety. It just, it just feels great. Like there's reinforced buckles here, a ton of them. So if you have a big or small head, it's not gonna matter. You got the double buckle here. This is just like the prettiest ball gag I own by far. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this thing. Cool, next. Let's go ahead and get into some actual vibrating sex toys, some that are new to Adam and Eve. And I'm gonna save the best for last, which is kind of a simple piece, but I'm so excited to use it. I've been sitting here staring at it like, ah, oh, I just wanna take it out of the packaging, but I haven't made the fucking video yet, oh my God. Okay, so we have two strap-ons because I requested them for reasons we've already mentioned in this video. The first one, I can't really show you too much because it's a realistic dildo and I asked to get the curved up eight inch one because that just sounds like fucking heaven. I love a good curve these days. Honestly, when you're looking for a dildo, look for one with a curve because that's gonna hit your G spot so well, especially if it's eight inches or under. If it gets a little bigger, it's not gonna hit the right spot probably. I guess you have to find the right length for yourself because you know girls have varying depth vaginas. With some girls, four inches is gonna hit the cervical wall. Others, it's like eight inches. And then, you know, when you get aroused, the vagina kind of expands to get a little bigger. So you, you know how it is. But anyway, I'm going to take this harness out to show you, but I can't show you the rest of it because it's like a really realistic, just like this piece of hair that's bothering me. That is a big, thick boy. Oh my God. All right. Sorry. 
I got a little enamored. What happens is it has these silicone rings. There's three different sizes for different size dildos. So it's kind of like a universal harness. I love these ones because I can use it with any of my dildos that have like that silicone base. So you attach this Velcro to one of these and then you slide the member through here. And this one is actually a thong, which I like a lot. I've had other ones that are not thongs and it was just annoying because I felt like my ass didn't look too good in it. Honestly, if you're gonna put on a strap on and pound someone or you know, a sex doll or something for OnlyFans, you're gonna wanna have your ass looking nice, okay? Honestly, one of the biggest things I think about when I think about being a man myself and like just gyrating away into a woman is like, my ass would probably jiggle and look really great, but not in non-fucking thong strap-ons, all right? I love it, it's very supple. I think this is, yeah, this is PVC. Universal, adjustable, I love a good strap on, but the next strap on is a lot more interesting to me because it's something I haven't seen before and I actually love the name. Okay, you guys know I love puns and dad jokes. So let me go ahead and introduce you to Her Royal Harness. You know, instead of Her Royal Highness, whatever. So I love this because once again, it has the curve and it has a vibrating G-spot tickler. So, oh my God, dude, like this is gonna be so much fun. It's called the Me Too Thumper. It has 10 intense functions of vibration. We got a lot of vibration here and it's like the perfect length. It's not that long, 5.5 inches insertable, which I think for most women is gonna get the job done with the curve. I think for me, I like, well, I still like size, so I don't know. So bigger is always better for me, but this might actually make you come quicker just mechanically because it's a, a better size. It's got the USB rechargeable thingy majig, so you don't have to do batteries. Gah, so glad that's a thing of the past usually. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, we got that soft, smooth, body safe silicone. Here's the charging cable. We don't care about that. That's not interesting. Yes, th this is what I'm talking about. That little curve up and then it's gonna vibrate right here. Ooh, this is always great. Okay, for women wearing a strap-on. I guess it's mostly women wearing a strap-on, but sometimes guys can wear strap-ons, like double penetration strap-ons, whatever. Anyway, this, when it's up against me, it actually is shaped like a clit, so it's gonna vibrate my clit and make me feel good while I'm pounding one of my female friends in a threesome or something. It's great. It's very, very long and adjustable, and it goes, ooh, it go, does it go around? Ooh, this goes around the legs. This is actually gonna look really good. So this goes around the waist. You can keep that kind of loose. Very discreet buttons here. It's just like a little bit right there. I am so hyped about this. This would feel so good. I need to find a girl that I can use this on. Any takers, but yes in all its soft, milky silicone glory. Oh my God, the added pleasure is gonna be insane. Oh my God, can you imagine that just like pounding your girl's G-spot or your G-spot? You hear that? That's the sound of you getting off. And with 10 speeds and functions, you can't go wrong. Oh my God, I need a new threesome now, I need it. I have a girl I can call, we'll see. Next item is... This motherfucker, okay, Eve's Thrusting Triple Joy Rabbit. I've had many Eve's Thrusting Rabbits in the past, but this one, we got the anal beads, we got the realistic penis shape head, and we've got the rabbit. Drrr, your motherfucking clitoris. It has the five-year warranty as always. I didn't mention it before, but anything that's Adam and Eve brand, it's gonna have a five-year warranty, which is really cool. So if it breaks or stops charging or something, which shouldn't happen, it's never happened to me, they are gonna get you good. And remember, Remember, when you're buying these products, use code Tara for 50% off any one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Oh yes, I love it. I use that code myself when I buy shit. This has the rotating beads. Ooh, I love that. It just kind of like goes in there and rotates on the G-spot. Not as good as a curve, but actually does add a lot of pleasure. Three shafts are better than one. This thrusting twirling, triple stimulating rabbit vibe overwhelms your senses for amazing, mind-blowing big O's. Everyone needs a big O in their life. 5.5 inches insertable and a 0.5 inch thrusting length, which means that like it actually thrusts in another half an inch into you. Whoa, let's look at it. USB rechargeable, of course. Ooh. Erecto, perfecto. <laughs> my magic wand for all kinds of orgasm having. Yay, let's turn it on. Kind of looks like a cactus. <laughs> guys, guys, look at that thrust. Men, you need to make sure that you are very nice to your woman because otherwise you will be replaced. I'm just kidding. Nothing replaces the soft, squishy head of a nice curved penis and a cuddle afterwards and a little bit of choking for sure. 
<laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. We got vibration on the rabbit. You can actually visibly see the rabbit going for it. It's vibrating a lot. This might, is a little loud. Oh, I love Body Safe silicone and how good it's gotten. It's so soft. Oh my God, this is gonna be fun. I might actually try out Erecto Patronum Cactus vibe. Very cool, which I've now renamed because Eve's thrusting triple whatever the fuck. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, rabbit is not a good enough name. This is the Erecto Perfecto. <laughs> Next, we have a massager. It's double-ended and insertable, I believe. It just looks like it is. I'm assuming it is. All right, this is the dual-end twirling wand. Let's see what's up with it. Does it twirl like our last one? Five-year warranty with Adam and Eve, like always. Experience twice the fantasy fun. This dual-ended rechargeable silicone toy lets you enjoy strong wand vibrations on one side and thrills from its twirling vibrated heated shaft on the other. Woo! The wand's smooth head fits your body's tightest spots for targeted, powerful pleasure. I, I love these. I think when the vibe is really, really strong, it's like the quickest way at orgasm, more than the, the clitoral suckers, more than any of that. I just I just like the, the things that were mainly meant for massaging, but now are not. <laughs> 10 powerful functions, the neck flexes. Let's just go ahead and look at it. I don't need to be sold, I'm already sold. Ooh, this thing is big and it's got a curve. <laughs> That's what hopefully she says. Ooh, look at this monster. This is a hefty motherfucker. I love this. Mmm, it's, it's got that nice ergonomic feel and the, oh, the body safe silicone is so soft. This should be the wand. This is the Erecto Perfecto. Erecto Perfecto. Let's turn it on. It's got like the, the mushroom picture for the head. It's funny. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my Lord. All right, let me try to hold it still. It actually twirls. This thing is it's crazy. It's like some kind of scary, sexual worm creature thing. Oh, I love it. And the head vibrates. Yo. We got some cool stuff going on here. What the fuck is this? I like it. Adam and Eve brand product, five year warranty. Interesting. I feel like I've seen everything and then I'm like, oh, this just looks like another vibrating wand. You know, it's gonna be good because it's Adam and Eve, but like I've seen it before. Nope, we're gonna have a wiggly worm thing. Of course, with the mushroom top. I love this thing. I'm gonna put this in my, my favorite stash. I now have a smaller stash because I realized that having a whole ass chest of sex toys was impractical. I would never get to the bottom and use the old ones and I was keeping everything. So now we have like a nice curated stash and this is definitely going into it. Good job, Adam and Eve, good one. Second to last, we have one more semi bondage item from Adam and Eve. Once again, an Adam and Eve brand product with the five year warranty. This is the Spank Me Vibe. So this is gonna be a vibe that also has the whip on the end. I'm excited, what does it say? Unleash your naughty side with a powerful full-sized vibe that comes with its own slap strap on the other end. Ooh, these hurt, okay? These fucking hurt. Have you ever been hit by a belt? I've been hit by a belt, not by a disciplinary authority figure, but in the fun way, and it wasn't too fun for me, I'm gonna be honest. It hurts. Firm silicone vibrator with a slap strap, nine powerful speeds and functions. This is a great one, honestly, that you would buy if you're in like a partnership. It's not so much the masturbation unless you like to like hit yourself or something. I like the idea of like giving my partner a toy and being like, use it on me, please me. And you can like make her quiver and make her toes curl and just give her a good fucking time with something that vibrates Vibrates, why not? And then you can also spank that bitch, you know? Women, if you're watching this, no women are watching this, but if you are, let your man take control at least in two parts of you guys' life together. If you are the breadwinner, or if you're the one that makes all the decisions with the kids, let him have control in the bedroom. <laughs> I couldn't even do it a second time. Oh, that hurt. Nice. Very thick and soft leather though. And of course it comes with USB charging. Very straightforward, but kind of has like style to it. Look at the accent right here. It's kind of a cool accent. I like it. Ooh, very strong vibration too. You guys hear that? That's some crazy vibration. Ooh, it gets stronger. Oh, you could definitely use this as a real massager. Oh, okay, this is a cool item to just have around the house. You can whip people, you can massage people, you can fuck people, you can, you can, vibrate it on the clit and make her come instantly. I definitely love this product, but I am just so excited. I need to show you the last product. It's simple, but I can't wait to use it. This is our last product, the Helping Head Pro. 
on the outside, it just kind of looks like another like simple male masturbator, maybe like a travel size one, but it has holes on either end and it's meant to be the ultimate BJ helper. I love giving two-handed BJs. I cannot keep my hands off of a dick when I'm giving a BJ and I am so excited to use this because it's got the little nodules on the inside so my hand's just gonna feel better. I don't like that a lot of the male masturbators when I'm using them on a partner, they come in like kind of like a, a really rigid plastic case so that like the squishy inside, you're not able to squish it with your hand. But I feel like at least that I am a very good hand job and blow job giver. So I like to add in my own custom pressure and stuff when I'm jerking a dick or whatever. And this allows me to add the nodules and the coolness and the softness of the inside of some kind of male masturbator like a flashlight or something, but allows me to do my own custom pressure. So this is just, this is great. Anything that will help me give a custom blow job just, mm, I love it so much. I could give a blowjob all day. I could fucking do it for hours, but unfortunately no one ever lasts for hours unless I make them. <laughs> so excited to use this. I actually don't want to take it out here because it seems like it might get a little dirty. I want to just whip this thing out and try it honestly. It says it's super soft and stretchy and obviously it's only meant for like a part of the shaft so it's not going to have that part that's closed and then that rips when you go too hard on it or if you have too big of a dick. Oh, by the way, you see this? It's actually raised. That's where I whipped myself. I told you guys it was gonna get red. I'm a red bitch. I get red real easy. Handcrafted from Ultra Skin for the ultimate feel. Designed for handheld use during fellatio. Tight, textured interior, easy handheld use, and phthalate free and body safe. Woo! This has been an amazing fucking Adam and Eve haul. Thank you so much Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video and sending me these products. I'm gonna have so much fun with all of these. Oh my God. Both in my personal life and on my OnlyFans. So check that link out. I also have a free Fansly if you're interested. I really appreciate you guys for watching this. If you want 50% off any one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada, please check the link in the description. All of these products will be in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Where's my... Erecto, perfecto, boop. Have a great day. You're the best. Woo.